oh, I feel like I don't have the physical strength to reach these high notes. It's so demanding. What can I do? Push-ups. You can do push-ups. Hey folks, I'm Voba. I'm a singer and a vocal trainer and this is my channel about anatomical vocal training. I want to talk about push-ups today because a strong triceps can really, really help a singer. Now, it appears that strengthening the muscles that stretch the body, like the triceps and the back, that elongate the body, can really help with high notes. It can make the high notes much easier. I experienced that myself and my teachers told me about many, many students that they had that really profited from actually strengthening the triceps. Now, that is probably because the systems of stretching the body and stretching the vocal cords are somehow connected. You can try that easily if you crunch the body and you go a bit like this and then you try to sing a high note and see what happens. <laughs> and then you can stretch the body and stretch everything away and see how that high note feels then. And also you can do that with low notes and with, that, with any note, you know. How does it feel to go like this? How does it feel to go like this, you know, elongating? maybe even stretching the body. It, it is a different feeling. Sorry, I'm sweating, I'm working out right now. So today I want to introduce the singer push-ups that I do. Here we go. Now, when I do push-ups, I don't do the push-ups that uh, other sports people do, like the ones that go really low. I do that when I, for instance, train for Krav Maga, you know, when I do other sports. But for singing, I do smaller push-ups. Smaller push-ups because I want more stability of the muscles. I don't want so much the, the movement strength. I want the stability of the muscles. Um, and I, yeah, that's, that's why I don't need so much a range also. I don't go so deep. I'll show you. So, for my singer push-ups, I only, I don't stretch my arms fully. I usually go there. And then my radius is very small. It's just, it just goes to there and then back up, you know, very small. And then I have like a rhythm to it, right? Now, this ah, flies <laughs> is much easier than push-ups for like real push-ups, right? These ones. This is much easier and therefore you can have more focus on your body because a few things that you have to um, look at is and consider is that firstly you don't slouch you know you don't put your head your, your butt up like this um, you don't you don't arch you don't contract you just elongate your spine right so you kind of like stretch it long not like make it short but stretch it long and also the head you don't want the head to fall you don't want the head to do this you want it to stay um, as an elongation of the spine Okay. You also don't want your shoulder blades to collapse, meaning your shoulder blades should stay wide. They shouldn't go like this, right? <laughs> I'll show you from the back. Your shoulder blades should stay wide, apart from one another. They should not go like this when you do push-ups, okay? They should stay like this. Um, this is the difference. I always have to look out for the end so I don't crush an end when I put my fingers. Um, here is how your shoulder blades look when they collapse, right? Like this. You don't want that. You want the shoulder blades to stay wide and just your arms, really just your triceps do work, right? One thing that I also do is I push this part of my hand against the floor, right? So that I do this. That really helps me feel my strength. It's really, really good. <laughs> and it prevents my wrist from hurting. You know, oh, you hear that? Yeah, my wrist, my right wrist is not the best. So I really have to push against the floor like this while doing these, these push-ups. And of course, it's a multitude of things that I'm giving you right now. Oh, the shoulders and the neck and the back and, <laughs> and the hand. But the thing is, as a singer, also, you have a lot of things to look at, right? You have to look at your breath, your body posture, 
um, your emotion, how to express your emotion, what does my voice do, do I, do I actually am in pitch, am I in pitch with the music. So there will always be a multitude of things that you will have to consider when singing. So why not training it with sports as well. Yay! Now since these push-ups are so small, you can do way more with them than the really deep ones. Um, and you can have more focus, as I said, on your body and what your body does and breathing into your rib cage, right? Because we are singers, we want to breathe. We want to be able to use our muscles in a, such a relaxed manner that we can still breathe with it. And that's very important that you're relaxed with it. Don't overdo it, don't strain yourself. Your muscles, if you do that five days a week and then two consecutive days break, your muscles will get stronger and stronger and stronger over time. And there will be a time when you can do a hundred, you know, because they're so small, um, but the feeling of your body is very important, right? As a singer, we want to feel our body. We want to know what our body does, even when we're busy doing something else, like working out or singing. <laughs> now, the good thing is, everybody can learn how to do these push-ups. Even 80-year-old grannies can do these push-ups. So definitely you can learn how to do these push-ups. And for me, they really helped me to strengthen my body, to stretch my body, to elongate my body, to feel my power. That's also very important. Feel your power, be aware of the power that you have. And somehow, the most miraculous thing, when you do this, your ability for stretching your vocal cords, meaning reaching high notes, increases rather rapidly actually. <laughs> um, I was astonished how fast uh, I could achieve more range with my vocal exercises plus these little tiny push-ups that really helped me feel my strength. Start slow, do as many as you can and then feel your body. Stay with your body, feel your body. When your body says oh, I can't, then don't. Then you do the same tomorrow and maybe the day after tomorrow you can do one or two more. Right? And then you will slowly increase, 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 increase till you feel very strong. And that's actually the most important thing, that you feel your strength. It's not just about having strength, it's about feeling the strength and knowing how to use the strength. And that is so much more important than just having it, you know? If you have something and you don't know what to do with it, then it doesn't really help you. But if you feel your strength, if you know how to feel strong, you will know how to feel strong when you're singing and feeling strong when you're singing is such an empowering beautiful experience it's just really beautiful so that's it for today um that's my push-ups the little tiny push-ups that i do <laughs> i hope you enjoy maybe it gives you some things to think about and some things to do uh, have a wonderful beautiful strong empowering day <laughs>